Kubuntu 25.10 will drop the Plasma X11 session by default. As of its October 9, 2025 release date, new installs boot straight into Wayland. This move aligns Kubuntu with Ubuntu's Wayland-only strategy and follows Gnome's decision to remove Xorg support. KDE Plasma 6.4 separates Kdwin's Wayland and X11 code into distinct packages. This modular approach simplifies maintenance and accelerates new feature development. With Wayland's improved security model, sandboxed applications can't snoop on each other's windows or capture keystrokes the way they could under X11. If you still need X11, run sudo apt install plasma session x11 then at the ssdm login screen pick sorg from the session menu upgrading from 25.04 retains any already installed x11 packages so your existing sorg session stays available kubuntu's rick mills explains that ubuntu's 25.10 desktop seed no longer pulls in sorg packages official flavors must add and maintain x11 support themselves Kubuntu chose to remove it by default to avoid a three-year support obligation for a feature used by a shrinking user base. For users worried about hardware quirks on Wayland, test Wayland first. Many drivers now support it well. If you hit a snag, install the X11 session and log into Xorg. Your workflow remains uninterrupted. While Kubuntu focuses on Wayland, other flavors, Zubuntu, Ubuntu Baji, Ubuntu Unity, Ubuntu Cinnamon, are expected to keep X11 available by default in their 25.10 releases. Each flavor balances new technology with legacy support differently. Kubuntu 25.10's Wayland First approach marks a clear break from the past. By testing this change now, KDE developers can refine Wayland support before the next LTS. The result, a faster, more secure desktop ready for tomorrow's hardware and applications, 